Hey folks, it's Mark with Fire Mountain Outdoors. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, do you have an AR that you want to upgrade to an M-Lock rail, but you don't want to break the bank? Uh, we've got a good option here. Stick around and I'll tell you all about it. So this is my son Eli's rifle. He got it for Christmas in a bag, in a bunch of parts. And Christmas morning, uh, he was there at the kitchen table and actually assembled his own AR-15. Now, because his dad bought it and his dad's a cheapskate, he got the uh, upper that had just the basic M4 handguards and the uh, fixed front sight. So later on, he wanted to upgrade and he wanted to have a rail that was nice and good looking like dad and Bob have. So we looked around and we found this one from Gun Tech USA. Now this is their ultra lightweight M-Lock 12 inch handguard. Um, it came with a barrel nut, obviously, because that's how it attaches. The barrel nut torques on and then the rail slips over and tightens via six screws. One of the cool things about that is GunTech made the holes uh, quite a bit bigger than the screws themselves. So, you know, when you're torquing down a barrel nut, trying to get it exact and everything lined up, having a little bit of give with those screw holes made it a lot easier getting everything dialed in so that this continuous top rail that comes with it could be lined up perfectly. Uh, we did have one issue when we were putting it on and it was probably operator error. Uh, Eli and I worked together on putting this together and just using some hand uh, wrenches we actually uh, stripped out these two screws. So I don't think that that was necessarily a material problem or an issue but these these screws did strip with just a little uh, a little wrench and we very well could have had them misaligned or something. Uh, we did have one other slight issue with putting the barrel nut on. It doesn't use the armor's wrench or anything that interfaces with the armor's wrench, and nor did it uh, any of our readily available uh, open end wrenches fit on the flats on the barrel nut. So we ended up using a crescent wrench, and we noted that by the time you got to a crescent wrench that was big enough to give you enough torque, a 12 inch, the flats were n too narrow for full engagement with my particular wrench. So. Uh, those are the only caveats that we had other than that um, then those are operator things and installer things uh, It slipped on well it fits nice. It's nice and smooth Looks good and Eli's happy uh, MSRP on this rail is a hundred dollars, which is Significantly less expensive than a lot of the other rails that you're gonna find it has no external logos or laser etching it's just uh, plain Jane and black just like Henry Ford would like it and uh, that worked well for us. We tried the different M-Lock rail sections and tried them on all of the different places. Uh, the machining and the tolerances are all good. It fits well. So there you have it. $100 M-Lock rail. Gun Tech USA. We'll put a link down in the description if you want to look at it. And uh, as always, shoot safe. Thanks for watching.